You ever heard of Plymouth, Oklahoma? Yeah, it was a real town until about 1905. The town no longer exists. This is all that remains, but the name, it still lives on. Only a sharp eye would even notice any glimpse of the original town of Plymouth, Oklahoma. But meanwhile, its namesake, Plymouth Valley Cellars, seems to be growing by leaps and bounds. Leaping and bounding is just like its owner, Dennis Fleming. His wife, Elaine, says that even though he's retired, Dennis still hasn't gotten the hang of sitting still. My wife used to say, I bought a baler here a while back because I have 300 acres of alfalfa. And she said, the only reason he bought that baler is because he had nothing to do between 3 and 6 in the morning. <laughs> Thanks in large part to Dennis's busy nature, a destination was born near Fairview. First off, just for fun, he planted a vineyard. Yes, we grow a five-acre vineyard. We grow nine different varieties, and we make 15 different kinds of wine out of those. How much tending do you have to do to the vines themselves? I mean, do you have to keep them trimmed, or do you let them go oh, yeah. wild? No, no, no. Or... We, we trim them constantly. For each shoot that comes up, we try to ha harvest two clusters of grapes off of each shoot. Really? We, and then you got to go in and cut them off. And, and uh, so the time you get through on one end, just under 5,000 vines, it's time to start over. <laughs> From vine to bottle, Plymouth Valley Cellars produces 15, count them, 15 kinds of wine, and you can taste them all. Uh, we have free wine tasting every day. Uh, anytime you want to do a tasting, I've come down here at 11 o'clock at night if somebody was traveling through and um, have a wine tasting here. So you gonna tell me about this one? Yes, this is a Chardonnay. Um, I make all of my wines in what I call a German style of wine. It's, it uh, is really very tasty and more fruity and, and um, um, has a lot more uh, floral taste or smell to it. And if you're feeling a bit too relaxed after wine tasting, don't worry your dizzy little head. Plymouth Valley is also a bed and breakfast. And of course they have a full kitchenette and the piece de resistance, a sleep number bed. Excuse me while I set my sleep number 35. But even with the B&B, &B, the vineyards, and the winemaking, Dennis still has extra time on his hands, so... Whoa! This is a really good size event center. What are you doing here? This is our uh, banquet slash uh, party room in here. We have everything from wedding rehearsal, dinners, Christmas parties, uh, school prom parties, alumni parties, uh, whatever you can think of, picnics, uh, uh, company, corporate parties, and uh, this is where we entertain them. And of course, they've also got a gift shop. Well, how about this? Wines Constantly, a shirt perfect for our executive producer, Shell Wagner. I think I found one for my wife, too. This patch of the northwestern Oklahoma prairie may have taken back the town that once thrived here. But thanks to a couple of retirees, life here in Plymouth Valley is more vivid than ever. At Plymouth Valley Cellars, near Fairview, I'm Jeff Roberts.